often considered the dumbest person in D.C. That would be Biden's chief of staff, Ron Klain. He's now praising Joe Biden, his hard work, and his steady leadership compared to Donald Trump's. Take a listen. I just think Donald Trump created an expectation of a president creating a storm every single day. I don't think it was good for the country. I don't think the voters wanted it. And I think 81 million of them showed up last in 2020 and said they wanted a different kind of president. And that's who Joe Biden is. He comes into the Oval Office every morning. He's serious about his work. He's serious about the change he's trying to bring to this country. All right, Ron, are you serious? Really? Because every time Joe opens his mouth, it is a complete Adam Schiff show. Here's a friendly reminder. The idea that um, the um, with the nature not when the political coverage the that, look, um, some of the political players and some of the, uh, let me ask a rhetorical question. No, I won't. Anyway. Ron, do you or anybody else at the White House, do you ever feel bad putting Joe in that position every day? Because you're living in an alternate reality. Now, Biden's entire presidency has been a horror show, both at home and abroad. And by the way, Joe's, well, it definitely uh, does not go to the office uh, or the Oval Office every morning, as you claim. Not even close. So far, Joe Biden has spent 150 whopping days on vacation in Delaware. And this weekend, he's headed back to the beach in Delaware after a lengthy vacation at the beach in South Carolina, where he's going to build a wall to secure his premises. Joe Biden is not serious about his work because he's not mentally capable of being serious about work. He can't even put his own jacket on like a functioning adult. But in the Democratic Party, it just simply doesn't matter. Democrats don't really care about Biden's mental decline, his cognitive decline, or, or the disaster in Afghanistan now a little over a year ago. They don't seem to care about inflation, high gas prices, the recession. They don't seem to care about any of it. They don't even care that Joe's son, Zero Experience Hunter, appears to have sold access to the highest levels of the U.S. federal government, all to make millions and millions and millions from China, Russia, Ukraine, and many other countries that don't particularly like the United States. But Democrats claim to revere our institutions. No, they don't revere our institutions. They only care about political power, raw political power. But don't take my word for it. Just listen to a popular liberal podcast host. His name is Sam Harris. He just says what others think. Trump University as a story is worse than anything that could be in, in Hunter Biden's laptop, in my view, right? Now, that's not, that doesn't answer the people who say it's still completely unfair to not have looked at the laptop in a timely way and to have shut down the you know the New York Post's Twitter account like that that's a, just a conspiracy that's a left wing conspiracy to deny the presidency to Donald Trump absolutely it was absolutely right but i think it was warranted now, it's all a means to an end. There is no intellectual honesty or fidelity to the truth in the Democratic Party of today. They will lie, they will cheat, they will steal their way to the top if that's what it takes to gain power, and they will do it together with one united voice. Take a look at the so-called Inflation Reduction Act, or I call it the Tax the Poor, the Middle Class, and People on Fixed Income Act. All it is is one giant $500 billion farce, and it doesn't even attempt to reduce inflation. It'll increase inflation. It increases taxes on the poor, middle class, people on fixed incomes. It drives up everybody's energy costs at a time when gas is still near a record high. It hires 85 to 87,000 new IRS agents to audit small businesses, uh, bigger than three agencies of the federal government combined. But guess what? Both the Americans uh, will now be able to enjoy a big tax credit. Now, if they buy an expensive new electric vehicle or an EV, as they like to call them, every single Democrat in the Senate voted in favor of this bill.
They don't care if Americans get hurt. They just want a political win. Their green climate religious cult trumps everything. Now, these same Democrats are painting Republican Senate candidates running in upcoming uh, elections and midterms as cruel and out of touch. Well, apparently, Senator, uh, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell is content to leave them out to dry and fend for themselves. Listen to these comments. Very encouraging. There's a, probably a greater likelihood the House flips than the Senate. Senate races are just different. They're statewide. Uh, candidate quality has a lot to do with the outcome. Candidate quality. You mean like in Pennsylvania, the Democratic Senate candidate, a devout socialist uh, style uh, in, the, in the vein of, let's see, oh, Bernie Sanders, who he endorsed over Joe Biden, a guy that literally can't put two sentences together himself. He's just only been 11 minutes on the campaign trail. A guy that wants to legalize heroin and have areas where people can shoot up in public. I hope Fetterman gets better health-wise, but it's just a simple fact. He's to the left of Bernie Sanders, and yet you don't hear Chucky e. Schumer complaining about candidate quality in Pennsylvania. Uh, how about you get out there, Mitch, and fight for your team? Uh, what's your agenda, Mitch? Or would you rather just sit by and watch helplessly as Democrats lie to your face, pass another $500 billion green energy boondoggle next year, or is it maybe Mitch McConnell hates Donald Trump so much that he would probably rather see Trump endorse candidates lose because he thinks that might hurt Donald Trump? His time as a leader needs to come to an end. Now, if Republicans fail to take the majority, we will get even more taxes. We will get more audits. We will get more inflation. We will get more socialism. We will get more Green New Deal, more mass illegal immigration. That means more fentanyl, more heroin, more crime, more chaos, more con carnage, and a far-left deep state bureaucracy left totally, completely unchecked. This is a critical inflection point for this country, a pivotal moment, a tipping point. If Mitch doesn't really want to help lead his party, Mitch, step aside. We'll find somebody who can lead and champion the candidates that are in these races. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.